Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm literally going to be teaching you guys how to create a carousel post. Um, carousel posts are literally the new things that a lot of people now on Instagram have been posting. So if you haven't um, seen what a carousel post is, let's quickly show you what a car carousel post is. So carousel post is a multiple posts on Instagram, right? So you literally keep scrolling through till you are done with the post so um let's just pop up one more to further explain so carousel post posts are literally dropping little content in a series of posts right so the first one literally says four different pricing models for creatives and it goes on by saying early pricing model and then more explanations as you go in to the post so today we're literally going to be, i'm literally going to be teaching you how to create this carousel post in adobe illustrator the first thing you want to do is file new create a new document and so when you're creating a new document um, you need to obviously specify the width and the height of the document and the default width and height for Instagram post on your feed is 1080 by 1080. So in case you don't have this here, all you want to do is fill in the empty space, 1080 by 1080, and make sure your pixels is on 1080 pixels. You create, right? So obviously, we're creating just one artboard. We can actually create, if you want four posts, you can create four artboards at a go but for now let's just create one ad board and click on create create right and um, so the second thing you want to um, decide on right now is what is your topic for your post right so for us is how to create a carousel and our background will be black so we want to click on the rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle all the way here now that draws out a white background and we're going to click on the on the background color over here on the left hand side and fill in this with 2d 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 that's literally our black um, background and so the next thing we want to do right now is add the text for our first slide so our text for our first slide will be how how to create so let's just do how to first click on how to and then hold on shift and drag to make it bigger we change our text font to um bibas right and then our color of our to white So you can see we already have how to, right? Um, so our text is going to be how to create a carousel. So the first thing we have is how to. All we want to do now is duplicate this how to to form the next um, text. So how to hold an option and drag down, right? That's how we duplicate. Or we can literally just hold on Command T, Command V, right? So that's like copy and paste. Right, um, we want to do how to create a and then the you can do the same thing too by holding an option and dragging down, um, option and dragging down, option and dragging down, and literally type carousel. And then for design purposes, we're going to be making carousel much bigger than all of these other because that is supposed to be our call to action right so we're going to increase this a little bit more yeah so this is going to be our main topic so if you notice right for carousel posts we always have things underneath we always have things like um for any reason the viewer sees this in an explore page what who actually posted this and all of those kind of things and do we obviously have more things in the post so what we need to do 
underneath here is have the handle that is posting this and then maybe have a swipe option here so i'm going to hit on the text tool and we're going to type at i creative then make sure that this is white right and then we're going to increase this to maybe 24 pt right and just align that a little bit and then the next thing we're going to do is obviously since we have more content in our post all we need to do is put a swipe for um text here so people know that they have to swipe and see more content okay yeah right so we have swipe here to the right right um one second okay so we have swipe there okay so we are going to retain this and this okay so what we want to do now is we're already done with our first page how to create a carousel but they want this is not all that attractive we're looking out for how we can get this to be more highlighted and all of this so we're going to change the color of this carousel to something that is more catchy so we're going to change this color to maybe like red okay this is too red probably like a lighter red yeah so you can see that from afar the first thing people see is carousel right um so what i'm just going to do again is i'm going to reduce all of this text a little bit because it's slightly too big right so this is our first carousel so what we want to have right now the next thing we should actually be working on is our inner content right um well how are we going to have our inner content and all of those kind of things so what we want to do right now is we're going to duplicate this artboard right by holding on the adboard function on the left hand side or shift o right shift o would actually select the hard and um, the adboard or by looking for the adboard on the left hand side all we do is we hold on option and we drag to the right so what that does is it does duplicates um the adboard into two so what we're going to have on the second page is we're going to have the content for inside what is going to be inside the carousel right so content for the carousel remembering that the first one was um the text or intro and the second one has to be why am i reading how to create a carousel it's obviously to get more insights on how to create a carousel so the second one would literally be content right so let's have this to have the same color so we have content here we're going to delete this too right and um, we're going to delete this too and then we're going to have a zero one here change that text to like 12 oh 12 is too much okay let's change this to like 40 change the background color to white we're gonna have this as the first page right make sure that all of these things are centralized or aligned to the same corner so the next thing we want to have now is we have to have text here so all we just need to do right now is hold on this text click on the text tool or T on your keyboard and just drag one second text and just drag to fill the contents that we want right um command a or control a and make sure that we turn this to white pretty straightforward and then all we need to now do is delete okay so i think this looks good in a way yeah so this looks good for us for what we want so we just need like maybe like two or three more content and um, in our pages okay let's just change this right to red so we're just going to collect the color code and we're going to oh one second sorry about that going to one second so we're going to copy this we're going to paste this right so paste it so all we need to do now is just have to duplicate all of these pages so we're going to do um shift o again to select this artboard or click on the artboard over here hold on option or alt and drag to the right right so we can have this as the second page 
right so we can keep on doing this till we get the amount of carousels that we want so we can have this as our third carousel and then we can have a fourth carousel so all i'm just doing is holding on shift o selecting holding on option and dragging right so we can have this as our fourth carousel and then we the last one can be the last of all the carousel post right so the last carousel um option drag to the right so for this one we're going to have it a little bit different we're going to delete the old four on top we're going to have found this helpful okay so i'm going to delete a couple of this text because we will not be needing this again right um i'm gonna make put this try and make the space in between the found and helpful slightly closer to each other right found is helpful is a question okay i'm going to increase that a little bit yeah so at this end at the end of the carousel post what we normally do is ask people that okay um if you guys found this helpful then please make sure you share and i mean save this post and yeah that's more like it so um people normally say things like feel free to share and save a couple of my posts on social media thanks guys so you have something that looks like like this right and then you can maybe have things like um, over here instead of swipe again we're just gonna have save and then we instead of iPT then we can have share right so that's we can increase most of these guys here from 24 to maybe like well since we're trying to keep the standard right we can literally just leave that at the same size right so that's literally how to create a carousel post um so in the last stage all you need to do is just to export right your carousel is file export export for screens right so it exports all of your carousel post in different images so once you just export this you see that you're saving them in one two three four five six in six different ad boards right and then you can just literally upload all of these ad boards into instagram it's pretty straightforward um i'm going to be leaving the templates or this file right in the description so you can easily download if you want to or make reference to this or perhaps use this for your post if you want to find um yeah so thank you very much and i'll see you in another video